Um, first of all, Heart and Soul IM, just great um, name in connection with the concept, just obviously very well linked. I was just curious in your menu um, design and your recipes, did you set a bar underneath uh, which you wanted to uh, be below on sodium or fat or what? Because um, healthy, a great concept, but on some of the items I was trying to connect up, like the bacon mashed potatoes, Love to think they're healthy. Definitely. Well, like I said, um, all of our chefs will be using less sodium, less fat. We'll be using um, different cooking alternatives. We've looked at a variety of different um, recipes for each one. And overall, we've seen the average um, of what can be in sodium and fats, and we've lowered it to what we think is helpful. Like Caroline um, is a major in health and wellness. She has an idea and she's brought that to the table where we can work with her, we can all work together and see what is average or what is healthy in a sense that We'll be using different cooking alternatives and things like that. We'll also be utilizing uh, local produce, so that also minimizes the amount of processing as well. So some of your entrees then, like the uh, catfish or the chicken fried steak, are they fried then or are they baked? They are baked and we use um, cornbread crumbs to put on top of it to give it that golden crust and crunch. Uh, pastry items you will have available in the morning for breakfast? Our pastry items will consistently change in our counter. Uh, we'll always have things such as cookies, cakes, uh, pies. Like I mentioned before too, we'll be working, I'll be working along with Carolina actually in um, my baking class. We learn a lot about healthy baking, uh, what we can substitute, for example, applesauce for the fats and using sour cream instead of the other um, like citrus and things like that to boost up the flavor. So our pastry counter will constantly be changing. Um, I can't tell you exactly like what we're gonna have at one specific time because it all depends on seasonal items as well. Well, if there's a fruit in season, we'll be using that. So we'll constantly be changing the items in our pastry counter. Beautiful, thank you. You're welcome. So your service model um, is breakfast. <clears throat> you have servers for breakfast or is it self-serve from the counter and then they can go and sit down? We have someone on shift behind the pastry counter, such as a hostess, so they could check them out right there. Guests are allowed to sit at their tables, at booths, and eat. However, the kitchen is closed, so it's all from our pastry counter. So bagels, muffins, any breakfast pastries are available for them. Well, we've, uh, we actually looked up a lot of different recipes online. Uh, because we are so inspired, we tried to go with the Southern, um, trying to feel cobbler, um, things such as sweet potato, um, pudding. Um, so we've incorporated that into our, um, the menu items since we are limited to 12. We tried to highlight the most popular ones. Um, and on there, we had a corn and blueberry cobbler, which I've made both recipes and they're del it's delicious. The topping is super crunchy and it's not too sweet, but it's perfect the perfect balance and for the pudding cake it's it's soft and it's moist and rich and the coconut on top just brings a complete different level to the to the um, cranberries that are at the bottom it's just a delicious contrasting flavor I'm sorry the, um, the flyers that you're going to drop off at different hotels? Yes. What was your budget for that? Let them in. I don't know. Our budget, I don't know. Okay, that's that. Maria. Seven thousand. Yes. So, including the, with that as well. So, no, when we change these other things, um, we'll be changing offers on there. So, this one says, bring this pamphlet when you visit us and receive 5% off your bill. So, you'll obviously be reprinting these and getting them around. So, of course, the budget, we looked up um, numbers for that, and that is inside of that. That's been calculated into the marketing tactic budget. Very good. Thank you. Bravo. Bravo. Vayan a saludar a los judges. Go shake hands to the judges. <clears throat>
A los jueces, vayan a saludar a los jueces. Ah, ustedes dicen darles gracias. Gracias. Ay, Dios. No, lo hicieron muy bien. Les va a ir, pero súper bien. Les va a ir súper bien. Sí, yo sé que sí. Ay, Dios mío. No, lo hicieron bien. Muy bien que lo hicieron. Lo hicieron muy bien. Alena. Lo hicieron muy bien. Ah, muy bien. Bravo. Bravo, bravo. Ninguna de las tres está flaca, está gorda. Solamente la morenita, pero muy linda. Y ninguna tembló la voz. No, ninguna. Y no se reunieron para hablar. No. A eso, bravo. Good job, guys. Ay, Dios mío. 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 Ay, Dios mío